Hello, it's Greg on here with MaritimeGardening.com and I'm doing this video to thank my new sponsor, uh, Safer's Gardening Products. Uh, Safer's is a uh, gardening product company that sells mainly uh, different kinds of pesticides that are available in Canada and the U.S. And uh, they've uh, been nice enough to create a coupon code for my uh, viewers and podcast listeners. Um, I approached them last year and they gave me some things to try out in my garden, uh, a slug bait, a uh, uh, cabbage moth, a white fly, uh, a bacterial poison of some kind, and uh, just a general uh, overall uh, pest killer type thing in my garden. Everything I used worked great. The reason I, I contacted them, they didn't contact me. The reason I contacted them is because, based on what I could tell from their line of products, they were all environmentally benign, and I didn't feel that they would harm my soil in an adverse way. And they're doing some harm, but it's, it's all a balance, right? If you've got a really bad pest problem, and it looks like you're not going to get any sort of yield at all, you've got to do something. Um, so for me, uh, this was the route I chose. So I used their products last year, and I was happy with them. I approached them again this year and said, how about you give me a little bit of money because <laughs> my podcast costs money to 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 offer to put online and you know it's time and all that sort of stuff i don't like asking uh, viewers for money so uh i find it's easier just to ask a couple uh companies that sell things that you buy anyway maybe they'll give you a bit of money and that covers everything and i don't gotta bother my viewers all the time asking for donations which i'm not doing so I'm going to do an unboxing video here. They sent me a whole bunch of stuff. They didn't send me anywhere near this much stuff last year. This is crazy. Um, we're also going to, this is going to be a coupon code. We're also going to figure out uh, some sort of uh, promotion, uh, some sort of prize giveaway type arrangement. I haven't figured out the details of that yet. I haven't worked it out with them yet, but that will be coming very soon, so stay tuned. Uh, probably be, uh, I'll do a video on it, but it will also be promoted on Facebook as well, so just sort of stay tuned and keep uh, uh, trolling around there and seeing uh, what happens. That, that should materialize within the next week or so. Uh, so a little bit about Safers. They're uh, a gardening products company. They, they produce these different sort of uh, solutions to uh, uh, pesticides, fungicides, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, they were launched on the west coast of Canada in the 70s, around the time when I was launched into existence. I was born in the 70s. And they offer uh, alternatives to synthetics. Right? Their goal was, was innovating in this, in this area but in a way that complies with uh, organic standards. Uh, in terms of, uh, are the products organically certified? Safers is currently working on uh, having all of their products on the OMRI, OMRI uh, listing by the end of 2018. OMRI is an organization, what's their website? www.omri.org that reviews products uh, to look at whether they are considered uh, consistent with organic standards for organic gardening. Uh, you know, with, with various caveats in that definition, you have to go on their website and read that. I don't want to get into those weeds here, but I mean, their goal, uh, Omri's goal is to provide a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm summarizing their mission statement because no one wants to, for me to hear that, but Omri's goal is to uh, create a list of products that you can, if you're thinking of buying something, you look at that list of the products on the list, you say, okay, that, that thing's not gonna damage my, so all too much, right? These are products that have inputs that, that break down in a way that don't increase the toxicity of your soil, or they, they do so within some acceptable limit. So um, I guess we, we should uh, get at having a look at this. So I'm gonna look at all the stuff they sent me here. We'll do an unboxing video, and then I'll talk about the coupon code, 15% off coupon code. So let's, let's crank this open and see what we got here. I can't believe they sent all of this stuff. Um, and some of these, I mentioned, I'm just looking at this now, some of these things aren't things I have problems with. So I can probably give some of these things away too. Uh, for instance, uh, I got two boxes of this uh, Japanese beetle trap. Uh, I don't have Japanese beetles. Um, so uh, perhaps I can give this one. Uh, anyway, uh, so we got Japanese beetle traps. Have you got a problem with that? This is the slug and snail bait I used in my garden last year. Um, gave me two boxes of this. This, this. this stuff lasts long. You've seen my garden. I have a large garden, and 
Uh, Safers gave me a, a box of this, this size last year and I might have used a third of it, maybe. I don't even know if I used that much. Because right? I only use these things when I see the problem. If, it, if there seems to be too much slug damage, I'll put a bit of this down. And I don't mind having some slugs around in my garden. I, I want to have slugs so that they attract snakes and other slug predators to my birds and various things like that. I want those uh, beneficials around. But if the beneficials don't seem to be doing the job and my yield is at risk, that's where you've got to step in. So I'll step in and throw some of this down. And then if it seems to be okay and there's just moderate damage, um, and then I lay off. So I might have used a third of one of these, maybe even a quarter, I can't remember, I didn't measure it, but I might have used a third or a quarter of one of these last year. So one of these, even if you have a, a 2,500 square foot garden, it lasts you a long time. And you're not using it everywhere, right? I'm not trying to kill all the slugs. I'm killing the slugs that are around the plants the slugs like, right? The greens, primarily. Um, and not even all my greens. I don't find the slugs bother uh, romaine lettuce, for instance. But they do love kale. Uh, so anyway, this is great stuff. Uh, this here, I don't know what this is, uh, sulfur dust, that's for powdery mildew. I didn't have a problem with that last year, the year before I did, right? It depends on what variety uh, of plant you're using. Uh, this tends to be a problem with uh, certain kinds of uh, like zucchini and squash and like that. They'll get powdery mildew on the leaves. Um, anyway, it's like sulfur dust, right? Sulfur's, uh, you don't have too much in the soil, it's not a big deal. Uh, this one's here. Chem free. That's the other thing. The coupon code is uh, works for all safers and chem free products. So this one here, I've not I've not used this one before. This is ant and crawling insect killer. So uh, I don't personally worry about ants in my garden, but uh, anyway, we'll see. Uh, this is for use indoors and outdoors. We do get ants in our house, so normally we use this uh, super toxic. <laughs> If we get ants in our house, we use the stuff that I, I don't know if it's good or bad, but we don't want them in the house. But if, if it's in the house, it's World War III, in my opinion. Um, anyway, this is, you know, hopefully a more benign approach to ants uh, than the one we've been using. Um, so that's an ant and crawling insect killer. Um, these are uh, sticky traps, sticky sticks, uh, aphids, whitefly, and thrips, and fungus gnats. So, uh, I'll have to try, uh, I wouldn't mind trying these, I guess. We'll see how that works. I plan to do some experiments this year, compare different approaches to pests and see what that does. And I'll also get here. More sticky traps for uh, flying insects, white fly, thrips, anything, just a different kind of, almost like a fly paper. Uh, more Japanese uh, beetle bag. I don't even know what this is, some sort of beetle bag. Again, I don't have a problem with them, thank God. Uh, this is all this packing. Oh, more stuff. This is stuff I used in my garden. This is the greatest stuff. If there's any sort of prize package coming out of this deal, this is going to be in the prize package. Um, you couldn't get a more pest-specific, environmentally benign approach to um, cabbage moths, or uh, some people call them cabbage maggots, or white fly, than this uh, Bt, uh, Bacillus thuringiensis. It's a naturally occurring, or BTK, I can't remember what the K stands for, um, something in Latin. Anyway, this is a naturally occurring bacteria, um, just like uh, salmonella or, you know, there's naturally occurring, occurring bacteria all over the place in the soil. Um, they normally don't hurt cabbage moths because the cabbage moths don't eat the soil, they eat plants. So you're just sprinkling this, you water this down, you put it on your leaves, they eat it, it destroys their digestive system and they die. So, and they gave me a, a couple bottles of this last year, and I mean, you make a batch of it, you use like a teaspoonful, I and mean, it does all your greens, right? Um, you don't put this on everything, you put this on the things that cabbage moths eat, right? Uh, kale and stuff like that. Uh, so they gave me a bottle like this last year, I might have used, I don't know, maybe a sixth. I used a tiny amount of it. I would say one of these bottles probably last you years, unless you're, you know, have a kale farm or something. So this is a great investment. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the next box, I think. What else do we got here? What's in this box? Where this packing stuff? Oh, Moses, what is this? Oh, or this ant killer. Oh, he smokes. Okay. 
Yeah, again, I've not used this stuff, but uh, it's certainly, I guess it's a powder of some kind. I'll have to read about this. I don't know anything about this product at all. Maybe, maybe they eat it and it kills them. I have no idea what's in it or, or whatever. What else we got? This is uh, Safer's Endol. I used this in my garden last year. This is a, uh, a pesticide that's based on, um, I think, uh, chrysanthemum ex uh, extract, uh, a pyrethrin based uh, a pesticide. So you, you spray this on the insects and they die. So uh, if you come out, I found this particularly useful for, um, what are they called? Flea beetles. Uh, you come out in your garden, you've got all kinds of tiny holes on your really baby, baby kale. And uh, that really weakens the plants. And if you look really closely, you maybe use a magnifying glass, you get up to the dollar store, you see these teensy, tiny little uh, flea beetle things hopping around. And uh, that's when you run back to the house and you get this and you, you do open, you know, you mix this. This is a concentrate, so you mix it with water and you just spray death on all of those guys, right? Now, most of these things break down very quickly, like right? this BTK. I can't remember the exact ingredients, but when you mix this up, you got to use it right away. By, the, by that time next day, that the concentrate you've made is no good. And a lot of these things are like that. You mix it up and you use it, and then within a 24-hour period, it's really not a pesticide anymore. The sun breaks it down, uh, the elements, the humidity, and all that sort of stuff. What's this one here? Oh, it's a fungus, fungicide. Controls black spot and powdery mildew. So this is another fungicide. They gave me a different one. I can't remember where that was here, but one of these containers had a fungicide in it. I can't remember which one. This one here. So this is sulfur dust. So that's a powder. This one is a liquid of some kind, some sort of concentrate. Um, Defender Garden Fungicide. Um, so again, if you've got that a real problem like that, then uh, you know. Uh, permaculture gardeners say that if you have healthy soil, you won't have any problems. I consider my soil to be really healthy, and maybe it needs to be healthier, but I still have problems. So, uh, rather than just sit around and watch your plants die, um, in my opinion, you should, you know, if you don't, if you, if I don't mind throwing a few dollars, I don't mind throwing 15 or 20 bucks at a crop if it's going to give me $100 worth of food. Right? Uh, all right, what else do we need? Oh, more of this fungicide here, this concentrate. I didn't have a problem with any of that last year. So. But if I had, I would have found that very useful. That's the difference between having your own garden and being like a, an, an agricultural enterprise, right? If you're running a farm, uh, the, if you lose a crop in a farm, you're broke. Right? If I lose a crop in my backyard, I'm, I'm a, bit un, a bit annoyed, but it's not the end of the world. I've got a job. I can just buy food. Um, so I, I tend to have a really uh, lackadaisical approach to using any product like this. I use things when they need to be used. And if everything's going fine, I don't do anything. I right? just let everything take care of itself. That's the goal. Uh, okay, what's in here? More of the same or other stuff? some sort of weed killer. I have no idea what's in this. Um, so uh, I don't know, I have to do some reading about that. I certainly have things on my lawn, on the front lawn. I, I, I pluck dandelions out of my front lawn just because of property value and stuff like that. It's a real pain. Uh, I don't know what this does or how it, how it works, so I have to read about this. But anyway, there's a weed killer. It's got a picture of a dandelion in the front. Uh, early in the spring, I actually eat my dandelion greens. Uh, this is just an insecticidal soap for things like aphids and so on. Some people use dish soap. This is imagine it has uh, some extra stuff in it that's, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Soap and potassium salts of fatty acids. Insecticidal soap. You know, if you get a, an aphid situation on a plant, that's, I mean, this this will work for everything. If I was to have a go-to thing, get a thing of this because it'll basically solve everything. If you wanted to have one thing, I'd get this, because it will solve everything. I really like this for cabbage moss, because you, it's almost like a trap, right? You put it on, and then they come out at night when you're asleep, and they eat it, and then they die. Right? You're putting it on the thing they want to eat, so it's going to get them. As long as they're eating, they're doomed. Um, this is more of that weed killer, just a different uh, concentrate of the weed killer. Ridiculous amount of stuff they've set me. I can't believe this. 
Um, trounce, what is this? Safer's trounce. Yard and garden, insecticides. Killed aphids, caterpillars, and beetles. I don't know how that differs from endol. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not as broad, a broad spectrum pesticide. I'd have to read about it. I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure the information is on their website. This is called endol because it ends all. <laughs> like, whereas <laughs> this may, it says kills aphids, caterpillars, and beetles. Maybe it's more a more pest specific. If you've just got that particular problem, I don't know. Or maybe I'm sure it's maybe it's got a different. Um, uh, it's made with different uh, different input. This is moss killer herbicide. Uh, is it moss killer. So it, I guess it kills moss. I don't know what uh, exactly how it does that exactly. I would imagine anything that's acidic would, uh, no, the opposite of acidic. Something based would kill moss, but anyway, it doesn't say on the jar what's in it or what it's made of. But anyway, a moss killer. Got too much moss. If you've got too much moss in your soil, you've got an acidity problem. Your soil is too acidic. Um, but I guess in the short term, that would be a solution. Uh, this would probably be useful for uh, when you get that, you know, stuff growing on your transplants. Anyway, um, some more insecticidal soap. I guess they're just sending me the different different ways these things can be packaged up, right? Because they get you can get an insecticidal soap concentrate, or you can get it all ready to go like this. I mean, this is a better value for money because you can. Know, make one of these with a couple tablespoons of this much or whatever, right? If you're getting things shipped, but if you like the convenience, just spray and go. Use this. Uh, what else we got here? This is an insane amount of stuff. Uh, more of this trounce, yeah, here in the garden. See there? Concentrate, ready to go spray. Yeah, that's all we're doing is showing the different range of products. Uh, this is the end all and ready to go spray. So this is a concentrate, whereas this you just spray it. So this has already had some water added to it. This is watered down, right? But convenient, right? Um, what else we got? Here? What is this thing? Oh, more of that trap stuff, just in a in super pretty intimidating look uh, uh, delivery system. <laughs> all right, fogger. You got me two of those things. What's this stuff here? Oh, wait a second. That's lawn and turf insecticide. This is mosquito and tick insecticide. That's interesting. Uh, uh, I don't know about your part of the world, but we have ticks here and they can be a real problem. So this is interesting. I have to read up on this. I wonder if you can put this on your pants. Uh, I can't stand ticks and we have them here. They're disgusting. And they carry Lyme. Some of them carry Lyme disease, which is a real problem. That's an interesting product. I might even do a video on that once I've read up on it a bit. More insecticide soap and uh, more of the moss killer. You have too much moss in this one. All right, so that's everything they sent. That's the unboxing. Man, that's a lot of stuff. Now, the uh, coupon code. Uh, I haven't been to their website yet, but uh, I'm guessing that you just go online and when you, when you go to buy stuff, they have some sort of box where you type in the coupon code. So the deal is 15% off on all Safers and Chem Free, C-H-E-M-F-R-E-E, -E, Safers and Chem Free items. Uh, and that's valid from now till February 2019. And the code is MARITIME, all lowercase, M-A-R-I-T-I-M-E. So if you had a real bad problem with some kind of pest last year and you anticipate more of the same this year, um, Go to their website, you can buy this stuff online, and order yourself uh, a product that suits or deals with the problem you have. So I hope you found that useful, I hope you try some of this stuff out. If you want to support my uh, channel, show them that these, uh, you know, this arrangement is, uh, is, is a good arrangement for them, and go there and buy something. Um, and stay tuned because I'm going to have some sort of uh, promotional deal where you can win a bunch of this stuff in a package, because I certainly have too much of it. <laughs> I've got more than I'm ever going to need probably here. All right, so thank you, Safers, for all this stuff and this uh, coupon code. And thank you, listeners, uh, viewers, for watching. And uh, enjoy. Until next time, get out there, get at it. And uh, if the world thaws out,